Hello, welcome to Dungeon Girls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we have another comic book review for you guys today. This time we're reviewing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's uh, published by Boom Studios. It's 1999 US 26 Canadian. Uh, it's written by Kyle Higgins, who wrote Nightwing Batman Beyond 2.0, which we reviewed one of those volumes, with artist Henry Posada Setia, who worked on Power Girl. And this collects issues 0 through 4 and of uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it includes like uh, a bonus issue written by Steve Orlando, uh, with really, you know, uh, generic, like cartoony art by Corin Howell. It's like a short. It's basically like a short story with Bulk and Skull. So. Um, I did enjoy this book. Uh, I had it. I had this book. This came out 2016. I I picked it up at like a chapters. Uh, this was during the the time when I kind of left comics for mon for manga. Well, I well I always read manga, but it was like I was done with comics in like 2013. When I saw this at chapters, so I I saw the really cool cover and picked it up and haven't read it. <laughs> sense because I thought it was going to be uh, shitty and it turns out it was actually pretty good it takes place after Tommy joined the team as the Green Power Ranger um, he still like um, he still has like you know um, what's it, the trepidations I guess is the word about joining the team uh, he still thinks he's under the influence of Rita Repulsa which in the com sorry not the comic book <laughs> this is a comic book in the show you, you know he was uh, Rita Repulsa gave him his powers and he was the, the evil Green Power Ranger for a while until the our heroes defeated him and brought him over to their side right and yeah he's having visions of Rita Repulsa basically talking down to him in like a like passive aggressive kind of way and like you know putting them down uh yeah yeah and he has like you know he he has like you know doubts about himself right uh while this is going on they're going on they're fighting they're fighting uh monsters they're fighting Rita Repulsa while Rita Repulsa has a plan to with uh her henchman well henchwoman Scorpion Pina which Goldar is in like you know jail <laughs> uh but uh, like being punished by you know um, Rita Repulsa for failing him, for failing her, right? And they have a plan to drain to draw to drain the Green Power Rangers' powers into a uh, a crystal so they can take over the Dragon Zord and like you know defeat the Power Rangers and just and start the apocalypse, right? While this is going on, you got like um, our other characters are having doubts about. Uh, Tommy because during one of the fight uh, mega sword fights uh, Tommy's uh, dragon sword accidentally destroys a bridge and almost killed some people which you know um, Kimberly with her with her pterodactyl Zord was able to save them right uh, yeah which uh, Kimberly has a huge thing for Tommy in this in this book and all of her other characters are paired up not necessarily romantically but like you know they're paired up for like a, you know the uh, conversation scenes and whatnot. You got like Jason and like um, Zach are like best friends. Uh, Billy and like Trini are always hanging out. They might have like a romantic thing going on. Uh, who knows? Not a lot of scenes with Alpha Five. It's not like until like like halfway through the book you actually see Alpha Five, and he's not as comedic as he was. In the in the show, right? Uh, overall, I I enjoyed the book. The dialogue was okay. The art the the art kind of has this kind of manga esque look to it. But overall, I I thought it looked good. My problems with the book are I was not a fan of the modern setting. Would have preferred if it was in the nineties. Uh, didn't mind the fact that Bulk and Skull became Power Ranger fanboys and they have their own 
like video podcasts where they you know cover where they cover this stuff obviously they're grifting or something like that which i thought was funny because like there's a scene where they're interviewing the different power rangers and you know like they're asking like um uh tommy some questions and it's funny because like there's like like tommy has self-doubts about himself that like you know he's gonna be controlled by reed again and then there's like they have like a lesson in class about the cold war and like alliances and people not trusting each other uh during the red scare so it's like obviously like uh there was some like themes going on there it's like it's like that's something like you would have seen in the original show (laughs) i thought which i'm just gonna take a sip of the this mountain dew i got baja punch which is a limit time only flavor not as good as the Bacha Blast it's basically a fruit punch version of Mountain Dew but it's okay yeah um overall uh my other last critique of this book kind of was not kind of thought hey would have been nice if there was more action scenes they did not they the action scenes in the book which I thought were done okay right um and no they they were good they were good but i thought they were a bit too short would have been nice if we had longer action scenes but our but the you know comic book is a literary medium so they you know they tried to focus on you know the conversations and stuff and like yeah which i honestly being a power rangers would have been nice if there was longer fight scenes but it is it is what it is and i thought it the book felt like it was a little short because like literally like one one like one fourth of the not one fourth but like one fifth of the book is this covers which the covers look great but it's still man and i really and i was not a fan of that bonus uh bonus uh bulk and skull comic but overall i enjoyed this book uh i i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 but honestly i wouldn't recommend it for 26 bucks like eh, maybe if you got it for 20 it would be worth it but yeah i feel like 26 bucks canadian for this book when like you know you're only getting like five issues plus the the bonus comic and then it ends on a cliffhanger by the way which I hate when they do that, and and this is a 2016 book, so you know, I'm pr- if I want the sequel to this, I the I'm probably going to have to order it. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I I am kind of interested interested in reading more Power Ranger comic books, but I felt like one of the reasons why I didn't want to get into because I I felt like you know you had Japanese designs to me come off better and and these kind of books and stuff and i was not a fan of the monster designs because they they totally did not match anything else and you know in the in in these power ranger comics they're going to come up with original characters and like original mega swords and stuff and you just know they're not going to look as good as the japanese like inspired stuff but you know we're going to uh, uh sorry the original japanese designs but you know we're gonna keep at it maybe we're maybe check out this the sequel and you know get some um get some other power ranger books i wonder if they've done zeo yet you know which that would be interesting um one thing i gotta talk about i'm going to uh maybe not for this month but like I might do one one more comic book haul this month and then I'm going to take a break because I kind of I feel like I don't know it could like it could it could be a waste of time but I feel like I'd probably maybe my comic book haul videos would be better if I got a camera but like money is kind of tight right now I just spent I spent a lot on comics this month but yeah uh, I feel like I, I should probably save up get a camera a video a, a nice video camera so i can do my comic recall videos and that would give me you know time to catch up on all the trades we got you know because we, we have a huge backlog of trades we got to review and you know i feel like our comic recall videos would maybe do better if they were on camera 
And, uh, yeah, which I tried, I, I did, like, a comic call video, like, this week, on, on video, actually, but the fucking, but the fucking camera, I should have, I tested the camera, but I didn't check the audio, so the audio was messed up, which is not a big deal, because I could have just dubbed over it with my software once I got the video on my computer, but then when I tried porting like the video onto my computer, the stupid video format wouldn't fucking play. So it was like, God fucking damn it, man. But yeah, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like, do you think we should have our comic hall, comic, uh, hall videos on camera or it's fine with audio? Because like, you guys, you guys can trust me that I'm actually buying these books. Like, I'm not pretending to buy these books and just reading from some digital site, scanlation site. I don't even know any scanlation sites, and even I did, like, what's the, like, what's the point of reviewing pirated, sh like, shit? Because, like, wh who, who wants to watch a review for something that, like, when they can just go out and just check, uh, read it and watch it online, man? Like, you... Uh, unless you're looking for confirmation bias or you know, you're checking to see if it's worth your time, but like, I don't know, man. Whatever. Just let me know if you guys would prefer my comic call videos on camera or it's fine just like this. Alright, guys, peace.